Welcome back to another Geek Watt video and today I'm taking you over the best £300 productivity PC build for 2016. So what do I mean by that? Well this PC is the best you can get for £300 for doing some like photo editing, for doing uh, Microsoft Office, browsing the internet, checking emails, all that kind of thing. Uh, do a bit of programming on here as well if you do wish. Uh, there's quite a, a, a few use case scenarios for this. I'm going to take over the best £300 uh, non-gaming PC, shall we say, aimed at productivity you can get in 2016. So I'll start off with the CPU. The CPU is the brain of the PC. It's uh, what does all the heavy number crunching and the Intel Core i3 60 100 is a great CPU to go for. It comes in at just £90 and it's one of Intel's brand new Skylake CPUs on their 6000 series. It's clocked at 3.7 GHz meaning it can do 3.7 billion things per second and it's a dual core CPU. Whilst a quad core CPU might seem better on the surface, this is a much stronger dual core CPU than you'd normally find and Intel's Core i3 line of CPUs really are as good as it gets for the productivity side of things. Because we've gone for one of uh, Intel's new uh, Skylake CPUs, you need a motherboard that supports all the Skylake features with, with the new LJ1151 socket, DDR4 memory and the like. So it's the Gigabyte GAB150M-D3H. It's the Micro ATX motherboard, uh, which isn't the smallest but isn't the largest either, so you're not paying a premium for big, you're not paying a premium for small, but it's still nice and compact and it comes in at $65. £65, sorry, got to get into my head the different currencies here. Uh, but this is got very, very solid. It's got um, SATA 3 gigabit per second, which is the fastest storage interface uh, bus, if you will, uh, on the SATA side. You've also got PCIe 3, so you can put a, uh, a graphics card in here as well later on down the line uh, to get some nice gaming performance out of this rig. And USB 3, so you can take advantage of those fast transfer speeds and increase power sent over the USB bus. For RAM, I went for 1.8GB DIMM of Corsair Vengeance LPX 8GB, DDR4-2400MHz memory, no need for anything too much higher, and this Vengeance LPX stuff uh, is nice and cheap, nice and cheerful, and does what it says it will on the tin. It's £35, which is a really solid deal, and you can get it in black, white, blue, or red, I believe, as well, and I've gone for a black uh, stick for this build to match the other components we've gone for. For storage, I've gone for a Western Digital Caviar Black. It's one of the, uh, well, it is the fastest hard drive that Western Digital do, and it's labelled as the hard drive uh, for the professionals. It's a, a one terabyte hard drive, giving a thousand gigabytes of capacity, and 7200 RPM is as fast as it gets for hard drives. It isn't going to beat the speeds of an SSD, but it certainly strikes a happy medium between a hard drive and an SSD with a really beefy cache on there. And for just £60, uh, these WD Black drives have gone down significantly in price. For the case, I went for the Fractal Design Core 1100. It's a Micro ATX mini tower case, keeping things nice and small and at £30 with USB 3 and USB 2 on uh, to give both legacy support and the, uh, the new standard. It's also really, really great value. It doesn't have a window on, uh, but for a build like this, you want to keep it professional. This is a professional looking case and rig uh, for any sort of home, office, bedroom, whatever. It's nice and sleek, blends in and uh, is a really nice design. For the power supply, I could have gone for something much cheaper, as the total TDP of this build is much, much lower uh, than um, than this power supply provides, but it's the EVJ 430W 80 Plus Certified ATX Power Supply. I've gone for EVJ because I trust them uh, massively. EVJ do some quality power supplies, and the 80 Plus certification certifies that it will run above 80% efficiency at all times. It's a full-size ATX power supply, which fits absolutely perfectly in the case, and is really, really great at £30, and I really do trust the EVJ power supplies. So for £300, this build will smash those productivity applications. If you've got any questions, comments, queries, leave them in the comments section below or over on Twitter at GeekWatt. But as always, we'll see you in the next GeekWatt video.